Hey guys! Hey! Welcome back to Pokemon Blue. So last time we reached Celadon City, we gambled a little bit, and we bought a lot of stuff in the department store. We're at the roof right now. But unfortunately that's why we didn't have any room to buy water for the little girl here. Little girl wants water? Yeah. Where are her parents? I don't know. You and we will buy two. One for her. Yep. And one for the security guards who always complain about being thirsty. I think in... Oh. Yep. Just give it to her for now. Yeah. Yeah. I'm thirsty. I want something to drink. Give her a drink. Yes. Yeah. Fresh water. Yay! Yay! <laughs> Fresh, Fresh water! water. Thank, Thank you! You can have this from me. Blue received the M13. Contains ice beam. Yes. Can freeze the target sometimes. <laughs> and then, then she sidewalks like a crab. Oh, that was weird. <laughs> yeah, and so while I was outside storing items to get room for fresh water, I also trained everyone one level. So everyone is level 27 now. Just so we got a little better chance at the gym, probably. Yeah, and training is not very fun to watch. Yeah. Wait. I want to. I've seen it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What I wanted to say earlier was, I think um, in Fire Red and Leaf Green they changed something like, in this game you can get the fresh water and give it to the guard later if you want to. Mm -hmm. But I think in in the game, in the Fire Red and Leaf Green, in the remix, you actually get like tea from one of the, from an old lady in the the house and apartment where the people live. And you have to give them that specific item, that yeah. tea. I think it's kind of like so because what if you have no money? You know? Um, do you want to write down TM13 Ice Beam? I mean, I think we'd remember it, but... Well, just so we have a list when we take it out. Because we wrote those. No, I stored the town map again. I always you keep do that. Doing that. I always do that. It's so weird. Stop it. Town map. Great. Now I have to get this up again. Items. It's so much useful. More useful in later games where they just have like the info of which is which. Right. Uh, when you can oh, this button. Get the town map. Get yeah, it I also there. don't want anything from up top to be on the bottom, so I have to go one step at a time. What? Do you? Yeah, well, if I would... Because it switches oh. places, it doesn't, like, move it. Couldn't you just, like... So if, I, if it's on the bottom and yeah. I switch it with, let's say, the bicycle, then the bicycle will be on the bottom. Okay, whatever. Yeah. So yeah. Is everyone ready? I'm pretty sure I healed, but I'm gonna be gonna I'm trying to think anyway. of who we should teach Ice Beam, but I think we'll wait until we got like um you know, I know you don't wanna keep Kirby, you wanna get like that pony work, what yeah. you wanna get. Which we might get. Pony whirl. Yeah. And then maybe Dad can learn Ice Beam or something. I was just thinking like where is the gym gym? Jim Jim is over there, Jim. No, that's wrong. Up. Left. Yes, Jim Jim. Oh, yeah, sorry, you were right. I could have sworn it was like more up here. But My how do I get there? Go along the trees and then look for an opening. There we can use cut. Alright. That's um, kind of a bad place for so many gyms are like hidden behind this stuff. Yeah, and you could say, well, it's just so you can be, you know, good and go there. You know, only good trainers can go to the, you know, the stuff. Imagine if there was no, if everything was just a ledge and it's like, <laughs> how? But you know, there's also like a lot of children who go here first oh. because they were born here. You know. All right. What did the guy say? Bad things. Celadon City Pokemon Jamaica. Akai. 
Yeah. I was already here. I think her, if I recall correctly, her gym's like small and has just like some girls. Yeah. Um, who's in front? Tarukari. Yeah, let's see if Tarukari stands a chance. So this will be your test by fire. Or test by plants. Yeah. I, probably Tarukari and Kurama will get the most action in this. Because they are good against plants. Against grass type. That's up there. Those are plants. Hey! hey! You are not allowed in here. Why? It's a gym! I can't remember if this is because you're a boy. Ah. Apparently. <laughs> but in Fire Red, what I, do they say in Fire Red and Leaf I Green can't, when I you can't, play a girl? I don't remember. I think they actually didn't change the dialogue, so it's like weird. It's kind of like, okay, so in in Digimon World, um, uh, di not Digimon World, Digimon Story Cyber Sleuth, that game, it was oh. recent, recently, yeah. like two years ago, I think, released in English. And they translated the dialogue, they didn't change the dialogue depending on whether you're a girl or a boy when playing. Okay. <laughs> Look at Weeping Bell, he's so excited. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> but yeah, in Digimon Cyber Sleuth they didn't change the dialogue. And there's like scenes where, for example, you're a, you're a girl and then guy will come up to you and say, Hey, you want to meet the woman of your dreams? And I mean, I'm like... Well, I don't mind, but <laughs> I'm not sure if that's what the people intended when they made the game, you know? Yeah. It's so weird um, when they don't change that. Um, was it like... I mean, it, it'd be nice if it was like intentional. Because was it like, did they have different dialogue options in the Japanese version? Or did they just have gender neutral... Use they gen did they use I gender think, neutral terms so it's I think ambiguous? It I don't know because I haven't seen it in Japanese. I assume the text is like the same probably or it is a mistake by the dubbers, translators. Mm -hmm. Either way, again, it would be nice if it was just because they said like, well, it doesn't have to be different if you're a boy or girl. It's before. wrapped and it's paralyzed. But it's probably because they didn't think about it. <laughs> And, yeah. and I think a Pokemon also because, you know, now you're like, the character is a boy, presumed to be a boy, so it has a lot of dialogue that's meant to be for, like, just a boy. Like, girls who get angry at you because, I don't know, you looked at them. <laughs> or this guy who's, this girl who's like, you don't allow me here. And I don't, I don't remember if they changed this dialogue. You're too rough. I should, I should look that up. Maybe next time, if I haven't forgotten, I'll tell you. I'm gonna switch to Kurama. Do I have a para heal? I don't know. Isn't it called Perilous Heal? I don't know. Yeah, I guess but I don't have. You don't got a hyper heal either, right? Probably not. Well, I'm gonna beat her with Kurama and then. I was getting bored. <laughs> and then when. when I. Oh, <laughs> look so at her. Oh. Yeah, that's I dropped beauty. My, I dropped my Pokeball. Yeah. Um, and then when I'm done with her, I can go heal for Erika. Because I think there's just these two, right? Yes, I think. We should maybe like take a peek, you know, look, uh, walk up to the bushes and look if we can see any girls. Yeah, hiding. I mean, Erika oh, won't attack us unless we talk to her. <laughs> Wasn't there like another Pokemon game where they just assume you're a guy? Like the oh. new Mystery Dungeon. In the okay, so in Pokemon Was it that? in Pokemon Mystery Dungeon games, you can in the first two, um, okay, and in the first two in Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Red and Blue and Pokemon Mystery Dungeon um, Time and Darkness and Sky. Yeah. In in those you can like say your gender. I'm pretty sure, but yes. it won't actually play into the story. Like your character's dialogue is. Think it's gonna be affected by the Pokemon you are rather than by what gender you are. Though there is some Pokemon that are gender exclusive, but yeah. you never get called like he or she for the most part. Yes. And neither is your partner. So, and I don't know about Gates to Infinity. I don't know what stats like because I didn't play it. But in Pokemon Super Mystery Dungeon, you don't say your gender. You know, you you don't pick it. I'm pretty sure. And in I'm pretty sure in the Japanese and English version. Your character never gets referred to by gender either, like in the first two games. Mm -hmm. I think there's a few cases in the first two games, but they're really rare. Yeah. Also, your border of the dialogue box will be pink or blue. 
but it's yes. own. <laughs> and yet Super Mystery Dungeon, so you don't pick it and it, it's never mentioned. But then in the German version, they were like, well, that's too difficult to translate. So they yes. just called the player always male and the partner always female. It's kind of stupid and sucky. Yes. It's not impossible to write gender neutrally in, in German. In fact, sometimes it's even easier. Yes. It is entirely possible to oh, never refer on. to someone with gendered pronouns, or at least not that refer to the actual gender. Like, for example, this is getting really in depth, but in German, every noun has a grammatically, um, grammar gender, so to speak. For example. Yeah, in English, everything is the. But in it, German it, we have three types der, for die, feminine, masculine. Um, masculine and neutral. For example, a desk is male and a lamp is female. But we're not stupid, we know that's just a grammar gender. For example, like you can refer... <laughs> we're not stupid. <laughs> just Wait. to clarify this. I mean, most of us aren't okay. stupid. There's some more girls. Yeah, here. but I, I'm gonna heal yeah. because and Karama got a lot of stuff. And so like, for example, you can refer to someone as a person and person is a female word. So you can refer to someone as she because they're a person, but it wouldn't mean that you say that they're a female. You're just using the pronouns for the word person. Yes. Or you could refer to someone as a human and human mm. is a male word. So you could use he pronouns, but wouldn't assume that the or person- the word for somebody is also masculine. Yeah, that's because you know masculine is considered the default. But yeah. yeah, this is this this word we were talking about, programmers with dungeon. Yeah. But yeah, I th that's why I think it would have been perfectly possible to translate the game in German without using you know gender pronouns to refer to a character and thus keeping the gender ambiguous. Yeah. And it was lazy of them to just say, hey, the player is male and the partner is female. Yeah. And that's why I played the game in English. Because it made me angry. <laughs> I yeah. mean, come on. Pokemon hasn't been a You're Always a Boy game since Pokemon Crystal. <laughs> just since Pokemon Crystal. And for Gold and Silver, they had already planned it. They just weren't good enough yet. And they, they were like better beta. Yeah, even there were the ideas for a female trainer in. Red and blue. Yeah. You know, blue. Yeah. Or green. Leaf. Yeah. Where is she going? I mean, they did have her on like, I think it was a strategy guide and then like a Pokemon origami or some some sort of yeah. book. They and then the mango had her. Yeah. The mango. Well, it's not the mango, it's a mango. Because there's multiple Pokemon manga. Yeah, I know. And also multiple Pokemon manga did wasn't have it a like, character. Wasn't it like, oh, oh no, no, <laughs> she has a lot of girls. Welcome to Salad and Jim. Are all, is that her? No. She is the one with the sprite that looks different from the other girls. See, there's only, there's like... But she's not the black haired one there. Yes, she's the black haired one. Oh, I thought like maybe she's over, I think she's over the, the top. <laughs> you better not underestimate girl power. Alright. Okay. Oh, she's um, a cool trainer. A cool female. trainer. She has a whip because she's so no, cool. I'm sorry, what? what she's gonna whip her. Say? She's gonna whip Weeping Bell. Go, go, Weeping Bell. And ling, ling, ling. Well, now I think I forgot what I was gonna say. Give um, me a second. What were we talking about? Yeah, uh, yeah, we were talking about Pokemon manga. Oh yeah, um, wasn't it like um, there's like the Pokemon manga where Red, uh, no, where the trainer has like a Clefairy who talks. It's yes. like one of the first. Yeah. But I don't, I don't know, know the exact title of the manga. Yeah, I don't know. I think it was a different one, but there's like one really early manga yeah, where it God, like, yeah. I think the rival is actually called Kai or something. Yeah, I think that might actually be it. Yeah, but I'm not I'm not 100% sure, but I was thinking about it because, you know, we call the rival here Akai because of Red and my name. And then I just remembered, that actually happened, didn't it? Karama grew to level 28. That's nice. Trying, Trying to, to learn, learn Confuse Ray. Ray. Ooh. You probably have a bad move. Tail whip. Yes. <laughs> Poof. Maybe you should have forgotten Roar. Because, nah. it, because it can't be used it to train us in this game. But maybe if we want to flee or something. It's, it's gonna... Gloom. Okay. Gloom. 
How about it's poison too? It's, it's pretty. Oh yeah. It, They're it all has poisoned. Sparkles. They're all poisoned. No, too. Kurama is poisoned, so oh. I was like, maybe I should have switched him so he doesn't get hurt. No, that's not cool. At first I thought it said hyper beam and I was like, what? That's that's impossible. Hyper beam can only be learned by fully evolved Pokemon. Yeah. Prison. No, no. prison. Please no. Yeah, um... <laughs> I'm laughing because I'm remembering. Please are no freezer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. It's still so funny to me. Yeah, I'm I'd not... Be sore. I don't know a lot about... Are you sure you wanna... Oh, I think I wanted to switch, but I forgot. Um... Well, then at least get one ember in or something if you're gonna... Yeah, maybe it burns. Um... Yeah, I don't... I'm not super informed about uh, all the Pokemon. Oh, yes. yes! I think maybe we can just use another Oh! One. Oh! oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. Because it's like, you know... I think we can just do another one. Okay. It's like Flora's greatest move, so I was like scared. Yes. Okay, now we go heal. And also keep an eye on his HP so that he doesn't yeah, die Yeah, I think I'll use an oh. antidote on... Oh, beaten! I think I'll use an antidote right here and then walk back. Is an antidote more expensive than a potion? I don't know. It I don't like want to risk cow. it. Also, I, I, it's too... If I have to check the menu every time. Okay. Every Don't time send it, it has like a hurt thing. Do you want to fight all the girls before we fight here? Her? I think we should do that, right? I guess. It would be good training. I mean, you cannot fight them afterwards. Really? Do they all just give up? Yeah. Okay, yeah, then let's do it. Um, I'm pretty sure it's a newer <laughs> gens that way. So like hover over blue. It was like, imagine Blue herself using attack, like, yeah, at cutting the tree. <laughs> yeah. Um, I think that manga with the Clefairy might just be called Pocket Monsters. Yeah, I mean, what else are you gonna call it? Yeah. And the only ones that I know by name are obviously Pokemon Special or Pocket Monster Special. I think what and in English Pokemon Adventure. I don't know if it's just a rumor. I think, but I, I think I heard that because of that manga, manga, which manga, the one with the Clefairy. Yeah, it was originally originally planned that Ash was going to have a Clefairy as his partner too. Um, I'm not sure which one of those ideas came first. I think yeah. maybe the Ash will have a Clefairy idea was first and then the manga it was, adapted it. But then they like decided to take Pikachu because it was relatively popular because, you know, it's kind of rare and cute. Yeah, they wanted something that would also make Pokemon appeal to girls. So they were like, Clefairy is pink. But then yes. they figured Pikachu is cute enough and also it has primary colors which get recognized more easily but I'm not sure if that's like just a rumor or if that's actually confirmed yeah I'm not a super Pokemon wizard there's actually a whole lot of Pokemon manga mm -hmm. you know I remember like I read the Pokemon oh that yeah that, that must be her yeah I read the Pokemon also she's the one she doesn't attack me so yeah so I want to go the other ones first okay um, I remember I read the first issue of Pokemon Adventure in like German, and in oh the God, first <laughs> in the first printing of the German version, like back when I was a child, they called they called the main character Ash and his rival Gary because they were like, oh shit. But then they, they called the girl Grün. Yes, it was weird. It, like Grün means green, obviously. So we had like Ash, Gary, and Grün like, together. I'm not sure if any one of those can be actually trained with going against grass types. It's fine. I'm just gonna use tarot card for now. Um, yeah, it's super weird. Like, if you give them people names that aren't based on color, then give it to all of them. Yeah. Hiya. Um, yeah. Yeah, it also didn't sell well. They stopped after the first three volumes, but now they're, they're finally back. And they retranslated the first issues, right? Yeah, I think in America they first translated. Remember the to attack. 
the first um, seven. Mm -hmm. That's the red, green and blue and then the yellow arc. And then they stopped and they restarted translating it with um, Diamond and Pearl because then the Pokemon boom went back. And then after Diamond and Pearl sold well, they started from volume one again and then did the others. Talk about the English version. Yeah, that's the English version, the Viz Media one. And in German, they, they started again with Black and White. When, because Black and White had like the biggest boom, I guess, here. And I when, mean, it's, it's really awesome. <laughs> and when that was popular, they were like, hey, maybe we should start from volume one again. And do it right. Did they call green blau in English, in uh, German? Um... Because yes. the whole thing about the rival character in this in this first gen era is, you know, his default name, a according to like um, Pokemon Silver, of course, is in in Japanese. It's it's he's called Green, because the games are red, green, and then blue is the third one in Japanese. In Japanese. But in English, of course, because it was like Green was so buggy. Yeah, they 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 released like red. It is red and blue. I think it was partially because they thought like red and blue would make better opposites to like uh, American audience and also because you know the bugs. But I'm poisoned again. <laughs> you got an antidote still? I do. Maybe just use that now. Um I'm going to walk and see how much that takes. One. Okay. Two. Three. We should be able to make that. Four. You don't need to count. Anyway, so in English this character is called blue instead of green. Yeah, and it's it can it can get a little confusing, you know? Especially because um, he's frequently dressed in green, you know? Has like green eyes. In sun and in sun and moons, as a spoilers. Yeah. He ca he had he I was said he comes for. He appears and he has green pants, you know. And yeah. red has red stuff on him. Yeah. So it's almost weird that they're calling him blue, but I can get I get why they did it. And Fire Red what and I... Leaf Green, there's actually an instance where he and Red switch their Pokemon. Like, um, you Green... Mean the, you mean the manga? Yeah. Yeah. You I'm sorry. In a Pokemon Adventures or Pokemon Special Manga, whatever you want to call it. Um, green, the guy, chose a... Um, his starter is Charizard. Well, Charmander. Charmander, and he Cheater. at that point he had a Charizard, and Red had a Venusaur, and then they switched, and like a character actually makes a r remark like, Haha, "Now it's like fire red and leaf green," uh, it's fine. and it actually like the panel actually has the draws uh, the Draw. mangaka drew um, Venusaur and Charizard in a similar fashion as the box art. Mm -hmm. Of fire red and leaf green, and in, and in the English they're like <laughs> like fire and water. It's like what? The what? What? Plants contain a lot of water and yeah. they drink it. Yeah, of just course. like just like people. Uh, something that upset me um, that they that it took so long for the German translation to re restart was that they started translating it like the first volume of the first new volume came out. Um, like just a few months after I finally bought all of the English ones. <laughs> like I just bought the last two were like hard gold and soul silver and that made like a total of forty two volumes. Aren't you the peeping Tom? What? No! I'm I'm I wanna battle the gym <laughs> Like kicking the building. I wanna battle you you gym Jim I'm the Keeping gym challenges. So yeah, now like the newest one is nine. They got nine volumes out in German now. Mm. Also back on the guy being green. Or yeah, sorry. Blue. Um, in silver and gold, of course, he's the gym leader of um, Viridian City, and that's another thing. Viridi <laughs> Viridian. Viridian is a shade of green. It's poison again. And the badge that he gives you is called the green badge in Japanese, at least. Yeah. It's called the Earth Badge in English, I think. Yeah. But yeah, it's like the town is named after green and the badge is named after green. So it, it made sense that they went with green as being his name and red being the name of the trainer that he actually were. Yeah. It all makes sense in Japanese, as usual. <laughs> <laughs> nah, 
I'm not blaming the translators because if you translate a work over decades, you're bound to have a lot of mistakes that are a result of, you know, you just not having the information at the time because it hadn't been invented yet. Yeah. You know? Like, when they were releasing Red and Blue, they had no idea. Maybe in the next game they're gonna have the rival be called Green and it will make sense because of the town name and the badge name. And stuff. Although I wonder... What do you wonder? If, like, Gold and Silver came out in Japan by the time no. Red and Blue were translated. Doesn't seem right to me because it took a while, didn't it? Wasn't it like in two ta 2000 when it came out? No. I'm pretty sure. I'm gonna check now. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, do that. I'm thinking about if I should just use an antidote because... Yeah. I'm not sure if I can make it back anyway. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna use an antidote. And But I'm gonna switch her and train someone else. Another thing that's like different because of how the translation was made. I'm gonna use Cinderella because she's poison type Is and you know, she like, cannot be poisoned. Yeah. You know the tag Splash? Oh yeah. Splash is like a lot of... Okay, it was released in Japan in November 21, 1999. So I was pretty close with 2000. And I'm pretty sure that Pokemon Red and Blue were out in English at, by 1999, November. All right. But yeah, um, Splash, a lot of... Oh, sorry, don't bring bugs are fine. Don't in here. <laughs> okay, we don't have bugs, I promise that. You could get them instead. Um, what I want to say, Splash, a lot of Pokemon that aren't water types and aren't splashing around in the water, they use it. That's because in the original, it is called a word that means like hop or flop. Haneru. Yeah, and it's because the Magikarp is hopping around or flopping around. But later, a lot of Pokemon that were also hopping got the move. But when they first translated the move, only Magikarp could learn it, so they named it Splash. Yeah. And Although also, Splash sounds more like something that actually does something. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of like it was probably a somewhat not quite accurate translation in the first place. Because Splash makes yeah. you imagine it splashing around in the water and maybe like a few water droplets will hit the enemy. But it's actually That's something, it's more than nothing. But it's actually not even that, it's just hopping around on the floor with no water. <laughs> they should have called it flop. <laughs> yeah, flop. Should have called it fish out of water. And it would have totally fit. And then they had a lot of problems with it when new ones came out. Yeah, when new Pokemon use it that aren't anywhere fish. close to water. Oh! You. you! Oh, you. you! Okay, this one and then we're done. Pleased to meet you, my hobby is Pokemon training. Okay. Same as I am. I am also Pokemon training. Oh, she's just one. It's gotta be strong. Oh, execute. It's so cute. It's so cute. They can explode, can they? I don't think so. Oh, don't no. Don't make me scared. Gain armor. Oh, it's just... I was. I thought it was like counter for a second. No. It's still better than killing it. Mm. But oh, that reminds me of <laughs> the last time, like when we fought the polywag and um, Flora was got hypnosed. Hypnotized. Hypnotized and... Hypnosed? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Uh, hypnotized it's and even then... It's even hypnotized in German. Hypnotisiert. Yeah, but sometimes I think it's too close to German, so that it's gotta be wrong. <laughs> I'm gonna be misremembering it. Anyway, so like Flora got hypnotized, and then we're like, oh no, it's asleep, wake up. But like for a split second, it said Flora woke up like immediately after, like Flora fell asleep. Flora woke up. I never saw that happen before. And so you were not like yelling for it to wake up, even though she had already woken up. Yeah. Oh, splendid! These guys, did they forgot how to write more lines for them? Because they were just saying, oh, something! Okay, now we go back. We probably should buy some more antidotes. Yes, and then we challenge Erica. 
Um, you want to do that next yeah, time because say, this episode is already running terribly this, this long. This gym is a lot bigger than we thought. Yeah, hey, but I at least sworn there were just two. But at least you learned something, maybe, about Japanese and languages and names and the color green and the color blue and mango <laughs> and water and fire. Yes. Represented by a plant and a dragon. We were kind of all over this place. This place. We're all over this place, man. Sitting quietly in our chairs. <laughs> all right. We are off the charts. So I'll buy some. We're out of control. Healing stuff, and then we'll be back to challenge the gym. So see you guys then. Gym leader. Yeah. Oh, see yeah. you guys then. Bye. Bye.